we'll talk about some Nippon Kumite and how to train Nippon Kumite and the diff different types of Kumite. Okay? So, so when we're going to train Nippon Kumite, obviously the first thing you do is you bow with the partner, right? Okay. So now, right, if I'm the one throwing the punches, my hands will start from here. The reason they start from here is because you don't know which hand is coming. If I do this, and as I bring my hands up, as I step, the hand I'm going to throw with, I'll inevitably bring that one up first, which will make it easy for you to know which hand is coming. So when I start from here, it's much more difficult for you to realize, right? So you can start in actual position, but I start here. And when I step and throw the punch, you just block my hand. Move your feet, move them feet, right? Okay, don't, we'll do something, right? Okay, good, right? Okay, so now, see how he just did that? No good, okay? His hand is wide open when he punched. There's nothing there, all right? So you're here, right? You step and throw a punch, right? Okay, now, you feel the difference? Yeah. That's called power, okay? So if I decide to drive in, that's so good, <laughs> right? Okay, so. So, first things first, right, initially, depending on the level of the person I'm working with, I'm not going to throw the punches that hard. But if I'm throwing the punches at him, or he's ready to throw at me, so that's fine. So he steps and he throws the punch. Steps and throws the punch right at my solar plexus or right at my chin. So in Nippon Kamite, that's pretty much the two places we're going to do it when we do this type of close-in training. Okay? So, techniques can run the gamut. So he can step in a punch, I can go to the outside, I can do things, I can do whatever I want, I can stay inside, here, move in, right? As he comes in, I can move in this way, now I can hit, and you can experiment all different types of techniques, pull stuff out of the kata. Notice I'm moving which way? In, okay? So I can, you can if you want to go to the outside, you can do that, okay? Move from here. So, this is against one punch. So then, we do Nidan Kamite. Nidan Kamite is, he's gonna step and throw two punches. So initially, you can, when you're first doing it, the guy can know you're gonna throw right and left. Then later on, he doesn't know, okay? Same thing with single Ipon Kamite. Initially, beginner, he knows you're throwing the right hand, so you just go back and forth, right, left. But then eventually, you train, I'm here, you're defending, you don't know which hand is coming. So I'm not going to tell you. And I'm not going to tell you if you're going to throw there or there. And you got to block. Okay, so I step. Okay, you didn't move. Okay, your feet aren't nailed to the floor, right? Okay, so, no, no, yeah. You see? No, what was that? <laughs> what is it? You have to be able to look, throw a punch and not hit the punch. I'm here, right? I'm stopping, right? But if I kept going, what would I do? I'd hit you, right? So, so I come in here, right here. If I kept going, what would happen? So when you work your Pong Kamite, it has to be, you could hit the guy if you wanted to, but you control, you're stopping him, so there's no contact. Okay? So, so now, so you can work where you know which hand is coming, and then you need to work where you don't. When you're working where you don't know which hand is coming, you need to do whatever technique works. Meaning, you shouldn't be thinking, okay, I'm going to do this technique. You don't know which hand is coming, so you just want to block it. So it makes it a little more realistic for what you're going to deal with out there. Okay? So then, we do Nidan Kamite. Nidan Kamite, he steps and throws two punches. Right? Right? So, then I pick up and count him. Okay? So, so he throws two punches. Okay? If you get good, you can get him in between the second punch. He never gets the second punch out. Okay? But in the beginning, it works. So if I go this way, now that punch becomes what? Irrelevant, right? Irrelevant. Okay? Because I went to the outside to eliminate the other punch. Then we do knee down to me there. Sound down to me. What are you punching? Three punches. Okay? And I count them. Okay? So, one, two, three. So, in the beginning, I'll throw here. Okay? So I'm going to throw two punches. Alright? Relax. You already jumped in now. Okay, down But, right, don't. No. <clears throat> your, your partners, after a while, get to, don't like you doing that to their bodies, okay? So, you have to have focus where you can throw the punch and stop it, alright? So, see, that's the same thing, right? So, now you throw three punches, you gotta block. Yeah, I know you gotta hit with the second one, but it's okay. So, this is what you work on. 
If you learn from this distance that you can block three relatively quick punches, then when the guy's coming at you like this out there, it seems like slow motion. So that's the reason we do it. Okay? Then you can work Ipon Kamite from a fighting stance. So now we start with this. Come on, put your hands up like you mean business. Okay, now I come in and get the one. Aren't you gonna defend? Okay, just check it. Right? Okay, right. So, right. Right, now we're gonna get me. Alright? So, from a fighting stance, if you want, you can work against kicks. If you want to work against the kick, that's fine. Don't do as much against kicks, because most people don't kick. Okay? And you know, so, so and then I can also off the lead hand. Okay? And you, you experiment and you play. And in the home comite, like if we're here, you're throwing that lead hand, right? I can practice my arm bars. I can practice my arm bars and my joint locks too. So it's not just about countering with strikes. You can also work your arm bars, joint locks. You know, I said next year we're gonna do some throwing. So I'll teach you guys how to throw. Okay? So that's Ipon, Nidan, Sandan Kamita. Okay? Then we have You do it against the wall. Now where can't you go? Can't go back. Okay? So so you're here, you step in a punch. Okay? Alright? You step in a punch. Okay? Make it a thing. Okay? Okay, so now here. So here's where you see a lot of Nahanshi. Right, so you come in. You come in. So you see now when this, this technique in Nahanshi, you can do it as a kick. Come in. So now I can do it where I strike the knee. Right? I can still do this, man. I can still do my joint locks. i got his thumb right now. He doesn't like that. Okay? So, so you stand here and you learn to move. Okay? Where you can't. Same thing, you can work self-defense this way too. Guy comes up, grabs your lapels or whatever, pushes you against the wall. It's a different feeling, so you give you a chance to work on it. Anything else with your phone can you think of? Um, that's really it, right?